Hey, it's Jason from DrPreMed.com. I want to talk to you about preparing for the MCAT and something that's very advantageous for a lot of students to do, but they don't think about. So right now it's the fall. We're in, what is it, October right now? And everybody who's applying to medical school, they basically have submitted their applications, their secondaries, and most of them are actually going on medical school interviews or at least getting invites for that in the next upcoming weeks or so. So that's what just happened with the students who are actively applying to medical school. But if you're not actively applying to medical school and you want to get in, there's some things that you need to do. Obviously, you need to take care of the MCAT and you need to get a top score on the MCAT. But I want to talk to you a little about time in your application and when you want to take the MCAT. I always tell students that you want to take the MCAT when you're most prepared. As my mentor, who is an MD, PhD at the University of Chicago, told me when I was an undergrad, the MCAT's a test you want to take once and only once. So you want to make sure you're really well prepared for this exam. And if you're not, then don't sit for the MCAT. Don't think there's an artificial clock that's ticking that says that you need to take the MCAT. MCAT by XYZ date because that's not true. The worst thing you can do is have a poor MCAT performance. But um, so not everything lasts forever. We're all sure we all know that and things like that. And that also goes with your MCAT scores. So most of the colleges or medical schools that you're going to be applying to you're going to have usually two to three years to um, that your MCAT score is going to be valid for. Some places you might get four. I heard of some that have five, and I can't think off the top of my head of one that has an MCAT score that doesn't expire. So that's something you need to keep in mind. And why am I telling you this is because with each application cycle, it begins in um, January. So if you're preparing for the MCAT right now, you're thinking, oh, I have a light schedule. I have a, I don't have too much going on. I can take my MCAT now this fall and get it out of the way. I would encourage you to rethink that if, um, if there's some things in your application that could protect potentially preclude you from getting into medical school or you know you're not going to be applying right away because maybe you're um, a sophomore even a junior in college and you know you have a little bit extra time before you're actually going to graduate so you would want to actually take your MCAT after January so that means you get an extra year of eligibility for that score to be valid when you're preparing for the MCAT and that's something that as a um, pre-med student you really don't hear about people don't tell you these type of things but this is stuff that matters it makes the difference because you don't want to f find out, okay, maybe your GPA wasn't the best in undergrad and so you're going to do grad school, get a master's or something like that, but you took the MCAT coming out of college and now by the time you're ready to apply to medical school, they're like, uh, we need you to retake the MCAT because it's been over three years that you sat for it and we want you to have more competitive scores. And you also have to think every year, basically, People do better and better on the MCAT, and so if you're applying with an MCAT score from two years ago, that's going to probably be a little bit lower than everybody else who's currently applying. So that's why you want to give this strategy um, a use. Of, this is based, really not strategy, but more of a planning thing that pre-meds need to take into consideration when you're applying for the for medical school with the MCAT, how much time um, the score is going to be valid for. And so I always say the best time to take the MCAT is in the spring, or actually in this case, the winter. So we're going to say from January through March or April is probably the best time to really sit for the MCAT of the year that you're actually going to be applying to medical school. And again, this is Jace from DrPreMed.com signing off. If you need more help, tips, or advice with um, doing well in the MCAT, just always reach out to me. And I do have MCAT course that's been very helpful for students. So that's something you can also check out as well called MCAT Mastery Companion Course. Again, Jace from DrPreMed.com signing off. Best of luck to you and plan hard, study hard, work smart, and make good things happen because the MCAT is the most important factor for getting into medical school.